What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I have for you guys another exciting unboxing to dig into. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. So, what do we have for you guys today? I might have to briefly slide this out of the way because I have my info on this side and we want to be careful with that so let's get this thing opened up and i will give you all the deets right so there you go that way you can see everything coming out of the package i don't want anyone getting upset so what we have guys is the very first qsp being sent into the channel for me to check out. Shout out to QSP and David for sending this along for me to take a look at. And I am stoked to check this thing out. It's been a, a little bit since I've had a QSP knife to check out. So we got a couple of stickers, two stage box there with the pull top lid. And then we have a little information card there. And then we have our knife neatly housed in some foam there. And this is a knife that uh, I've never checked out before. So what we have, guys, is the QSP Lark. And this bad boy is going to be coming in 14C28N. And at this point, it has become my favorite. Anything pretty much under 100 bucks, it's pretty much my favorite steel. There's no way around it. 154 used to kind of be the top dog uh, for me. And it was that way for a long time. But 14C is an ultra, ultra tough steel. Ooh. <laughs> so, we have, is that a hand? That's a hand satin right there. Wow. Nice drop point. Nice clean profile. We have green G10. Textured green G10. You can kind of see the texturing done there. We have open flow through construction. We have two standoffs there. And then we do have some internal milling in there for weight relief. We also have a nice deep carry clip there, and that bad boy is going to be reversible with a filler tab. Excellent job. Clean show side on the blade. Another excellent job. They just have their little logo and stamp on the pivot, which is absolutely perfect in my opinion. That's the way I would want that's the way I would want things 10 out of 10 times. So we have Good access to the liner there, and they kind of uh, run this back a little bit, so you have your liner kind of protruding there, and they do put some nice jimping on there. We have good lock up there. There's our steel marking. So they pretty much keep this whole thing completely clean. There's no barcodes. There's no numbers, nothing like that, and the detent on this thing is snappy guys holy smokes yeah a nice clicky detent so this is going to be this is a very clean slim lined or streamlined profile we have a front and rear flipper here we don't have that we don't have like the bird beak rear flipper so, and we don't have anything sticking up. So, there's no studs, there's no hole. So, this is a very clean and slim profile. Pocket clip looks nice. Uh, well, why don't we why don't we talk about the pocket clip a little bit and see what that guy looks like in the pocket. We'll use our issuing stitches hank there. Link is always down in the description along with a code if you are interested in picking yourself up a awesome hank. So this thing is going to be very deep in the pocket there. Uh, you won't see uh, you won't see any of this knife poking out. Maybe very little if anything. Good retention, easy in, easy out of the pocket. 
Lefty Brothers can carry this. This thing is nicely centered. Blade stock is not real thick. And it feels like it comes down pretty thin. I love this drop point blade. I love the finish on the blade. Put a little bit of jimping up here on the spine. I would love it. I, I will love the day when companies just naturally run that jimping out to, you know, halfway up the blade. That would be, I, I can't wait for that day. I think that day is closer rather than farther away, but uh, we'll get there eventually. But as it sits, that is a good spot for the standard grip, and that's what they're aiming for there. Uh, it, it, that's, you know, that's where you land in the standard grip. But once you start to kind of choke up, you know, then you kind of go way past that. But at that t time and in that grip, you're going to be doing a certain controlled type cut there. And the way this is designed, you'll be able to get right up on that point if you need to for some more precise type work. And then you can get right up on that edge for more controlled type cuts. I can't get over that finish on the blade. That is a beautiful finish. Let me wipe it off real quick and we'll see what kind of edge came on this thing. This is really nice looking. Now, I don't know the price point <clears throat> of this knife. I'm going to guess that it's somewhere in the $50, $60 range, somewhere in there. Uh, which is a, a fine price for a solid build coming in 14C. QSP does a fantastic job on their builds from their own line of knives through their OEM projects. They do a fantastic job. Uh, model after model, whether it's from you know directly from them or it's an OEM project, they do a very, very, solid job. So how does that front flipper work? Oh, wow. That surprisingly works. I wasn't sure about it. I was kind of staying away from it, but that works really good. Yeah. Thumb, the, the thumb rollover works good. Index is good. That detent, guys, is tuned very nicely for both of them. It's a little on the stronger side, so it's very satisfying to use that rear flipper. And then it's not too strong for that front flipper. It's it's like, I want to say it's damn near perfectly tuned for both of them, which is very hard to do. Uh, or at least that's kind of what it seems like, you know, companies who give these multiple deployments, it's kind of iffy on if they nail that detent just right. And in this case, this thing is definitely done just right. The lockup looks good. We're looking at like uh, about 40%, 35% or so. Very easy to disengage this thing. I do like this model. This is a model that I've I never seen before. And uh, like I said, I never checked this model out. So cool to really have this in and get to see what kind of some of their newer models look like. I will have this linked down below. Uh, I'll try to link it through QSP and maybe one or two other places. That way you can kind of look around and see what what's available, what the prices are. So while we're admiring that blade, let's see what kind of edge comes on that. I can't believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, I think that's a hand satin on this thing. We have horizontal lines. Uh, that's a hand satin as far as I'm aware of. Which is a beautiful finish. Regardless if it's if it's a hand satin or it's not, it's a, a very, very nice satin finish on this blade. And typically those hand satin finishes are something that's done on a more, you know, premium ended knife. Uh, so that would be another thing that would be really cool to see, uh, you know, be very commonplace when it comes to the more affordable line of knives to see hand satins on those as well would be just, you know, I, we're very close guys to getting the ultimate affordable knives with titanium clips becoming commonplace, 
Uh, very good steals like 14C, 154, uh, S30V. The build quality of these knives, the finishing on the blades, the pocket clips are getting better. Companies are starting to use T8s, you know, for everything, which is a good, all, all very, very good things. The edge on this is very nice, very clean cutting very easy to control this guy especially in the standard grip here uh this is this will make a nice little edc knife for for somebody who likes this type of design and i can say uh I, i'm going to be you know i don't know the price for sure but i'm going to say it's going to be very affordable just from what i know from qsp it's going to be very affordable and uh, it's, it's going to be built well. So I took the liberty to go ahead and check the pricing really quick on these just because I was interested. Uh, I nailed it. They are coming in at $57 for the base model. Uh, so they have a couple different G10s. And then for about $8 more, they have a blue shredded carbon fiber overlay, which is 65. They have red and blue uh, shredded carbon fiber overlays coming in 14C. So it's going to be G10 with the carbon fiber overlay, uh, just to give it that aesthetic appeal. Uh, so for 58 to 65 bucks, you can get yourself a very fine knife. Now, the blade length is going to be coming in just over that three inch mark. Uh, so if you are in a place where, you know, you can't have or carry knives with uh, three inch or longer blades, you have to be under three inches, this will just uh, miss out on, or you'll just miss out on this guy. Depending on, you know, how strict they are, it's going to be very close because there's three inches of cutting edge and then you have just a tiny bit till you get to that handle. So you're looking at 3.1, uh, 3.2, somewhere in that ballpark. And then we're going over seven and a quarter just by a smidge. Uh, we'll do a full overview and workup on this thing and really dive into some of the details of this knife. You'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think of this. I think from tip to butt, uh, the, there's not much I would change on this thing. The jimping running out here, that's, a, you know, that's just a personal thing. Some people don't care about that at all. The steel choice is good to go. The blade shape, the finish... Uh, the deployment options that are given work very well and are tuned very well because of that nice detent. Uh, the texture G10 looks good, works good. Uh, no branding on the blade whatsoever. We have the nice clean pivot there with the QSP on it. A deep carry reversible pocket clip. Solid, out of the box, sharp, centered. Yeah, this thing is very nice, and it's good to have a QSP uh, on the channel again, because like I said, it's been a little while. I think the last one I had was the Penguin Plus, and that's been quite a while at this point. So definitely look forward to more coming in from QSP. Uh, great people over there, and David, uh, who is the American rep or the U.S. rep, if you will, uh, great to deal with and talk with. Uh, got a fine design and build here. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of this guy. Definitely a clean profile here. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it, guys. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. Memberships are live right now. Link is down in the description. We do members-only giveaways several times a month, so it's well worth it to become a member here. Otherwise, guys, go check out one of these new videos popping up on your screen, and I will catch you on the next one.